Hey guys, what's up? Today we are checking out the new Sony X90L. So let's quickly get into it. So the X90L is a new series of televisions from Sony and we've already done an unboxing of uh, the 65 inch on Amazon. So if you did miss that out, this video will basically cover everything uh, that you have missed out in that video, as well as the fact that we are checking out the 75 inch television right now which is much bigger and was a lot of fun to set up as well. The unboxing experience is fairly simple. You can open up the box and the first thing you get is the television itself. Two leg stands are also included. These are height adjustable. So if you're placing a sound bar, you can increase the height, but these simply pop in so you don't need to screw in anything. And I really like this about the setup. You also get a remote, which is this really nice textured remote with a metal finish on the top. And you also get Sony batteries inside the packaging along with some documentation. The television itself has a really nice look with minimal bezels and a very subtle branding on the bottom left, which Sony has been doing with their televisions for a while. So if you're not particularly looking for the branding, you won't see it, which makes the overall look feel clean. Uh, the television does have a Google TV inbuilt and uh, you have uh, tons of ports on the back with four HDMI ports, two of which support 4K at 120 FPS. And uh, then you do also have uh, two additional HDMI ports, two USB ports, optical in, mic in, as well as LAN in. So basically all your ports are covered over there and uh, you do have inbuilt Wi-Fi as well, of course. So you can choose whether to network hardwire or wirelessly, those options are there. Setup is fairly simple and you can use your phone with the Google Home app to connect. It doesn't matter if you're using Android or iOS. And once you're logged in, you can see the Google TV interface. So you have all your apps there. You also have this grid pattern on the back of the TV, which again, Sony has been doing for a while and it looks really nice. So if you do place your TV in a place where it is visible from the back, it doesn't look ugly as other televisions do. You also have a VESA mount option at the back and some screws are additionally included, which allow you to pull the screw holes out so that you can easily VESA mount the TV. Now this 75 inch is pretty heavy, but the television is available in a ton of sizes and we'll leave links in the description below for the best prices, as well as all the sizes so that you guys can go check it out. Let's talk about the display. The beauty of the X90L is the full array LED panel that it has. This allows for a lot of local dimming zones that allow for a really bright environments within your frame without any bloom or bleeds, which is an issue which we've seen with LCDs, which are edge lit or direct lit. So you're getting all the benefits of an OLED panel, but without spending the amount of money that you usually need to spend for an OLED panel. So an OLED panel of 75 inches would be at least three times, if not four times the price of uh, this TV. Because of the type of panel this is, you also get deep levels of black and you get a good amount of contrast on this television. And of course uh, you do have a 120 Hertz refresh rate on this TV. So if you are using this for gaming, uh, this also works out really good for that. Powering everything is the XR cognitive processor, which allows for things like upscaling. So if you do have a stream which is less than 4K, the television will automatically enhance that and will make it appear higher resolution. And then you also do have uh, XR Triluminous Pro, which automatically enhances the color. So certain colors like yellow and gold don't usually pop up on LED panels. And with that technology, Sony is able to push out those colors and they look vivid on this television. Because of the XR processor, you also do get uh, motion reduction features built in. I personally tend to keep them off, but you have that option if you do like it. You also have support obviously for Dolby Vision and HDR support with a 10 bit in this panel. But what you also get is Core as a streaming service, which has the highest bitrate streaming available in India for now. And so you do need a really fast internet connection for that. But you do get not only high resolution videos from the Sony library, but you also do get 10 credits with this television. So if you buy the TV, you do get 10 core credits. So you can redeem them for movies. And you do get a streaming service for a few years, which allows you to watch a lot of the free content that is on this service as well. And uh, you also get IMAX experience on this. So you can also stream some IMAX content directly on this television, the Bravia Core app, which gives you not only a lot of free content, but some really higher resolution viewing experience along with some high bitrate viewing experience, which I feel no one has been able to do with their televisions. You also have a Netflix optimized mode, which automatically sets the picture profile according to the content that's on Netflix and certain movies which are made by Netflix or certain shows which are made by Netflix will have the right kind of color showing on the screen with the right amounts of dynamic range. You can of course set it up with a sound bar. We checked out some really nice Sony sound bars in the past, 
We'll have them linked in the description. You can go also check out our video by clicking on the link on the top right. What is also great with this is uh, that it has a surround sound built in. So if you're not interested in buying a sound bar, you can actually use the sound within the television to get the 360 sound experience. But what's great is that you also have an audio calibration. So if you're moving your TV around from one place to the other, it'll automatically calibrate the sound based on the space using the remote. So it will automatically guide the sound and you can actually hear the difference between the left channel, right channel, and it also pushes sound down and up. If you use a 360 surround bar, then you can get sound from all over the place. The inbuilt speakers are good enough for a small or a medium room. Of course, if you have a really large space, you would want to buy a sound bar. The built-in speakers are loud, but they do lack a lot of bass. So if you're looking for punchy home theater experience, then a subwoofer is definitely recommended. The sound experience also adds in with Dolby Atmos, which does give you that sound experience, including that surround sound. And the speakers are a total of 30 watts for those who are looking for that number. Let's move on and talk about the UI. The Google TV UI made by Sony is fairly simplistic, really easy to navigate. You also have things like living decor that allows you to play some animation on the screen with some music in the background, almost like white noise that gives you a really good and calming effect. Plus you have something playing in the background that allows you to have some sort of motion in the background. You can have uh, running water and some Sakura beats, all of those things which we've praised in the past, it still exists here. And also you do get Bravia Core that I spoke about previously, which is a really good free service to get with your television. Using the interface, you can also customize the picture profile to your heart's extent. A lot of customization features are available on this TV. And if you do have a Bravia cam, you do have directional audio in this as well. So the camera will detect where you are in the room and automatically direct the sound in that direction giving you a really good sound experience as well. Google TV in general is really fast and responsive and you have tons of applications available, including streaming apps, some games, and basically the entire library is available to you. The television also has built in Apple TV as an app and you can use AirPlay as well to transfer information from your AirPlay devices directly onto the television. So all of those features work here as well. And you can also set up the television in your HomeKit app so you can control the TV directly from the Apple Home app as well. Not only is the panel great with a good amount of brightness, HDR, and uh, the whole Dolby Vision and IMAX experience, but with 120 Hertz, it's designed for gaming, especially if you use a PS5. You can directly connect that to this television and it automatically goes into a PlayStation optimized mode that gives you a really good gaming experience with 120 Hertz off the boot. So you can get really good color profiles and a really low lag gaming experience on this television. The television also supports features like low latency and variable refresh rate. So if you're not even using a console and you're directly connected to the PC, you can obviously get variable refresh rate to work. And if you're not pushing out 120 FPS, this will automatically adjust the screen depending on what your frames per second being pushed out is. The low latency mode is great for competitive gaming. Again, if you want to do that on a large screen, then you do have that option as well. Overall, this television has impressed us in a lot of ways. I would have liked a better bassy sound experience from the TV, but the overall speakers are really good to be used without anything else as well. And the television is super sleek and it looks great as well. What are your thoughts on the Sony X90L? Let us know in the comments below and we'll also have the links to the television in the description if you guys are interested. And we'll also have links to some of the sound bars that we've used with this television that we do recommend. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. This has been Bharat. I'll see you guys in the next one.